Hey there internet, Pixel Geek here with another quick tutorial video. So this one was requested by Ash. Ash says, uh, the agency mode toggle from Sandwich would be just swell. And this is the one he's talking about on the about page of sandwich.co. You can click on normal mode or agency mode. All right, so yeah, let me show you how that's done. All right, so I have a blank page here. All I have is a section and a container. Let's go ahead and kind of rebuild this. So I'm going to use a div block and this div block is just going to stay as is. And within the div block, I'm going to have two buttons. One, copy, paste, two. Uh, this second button right here, I'm going to push it away a bit. There we go. And let's just say this is button one. This is button two. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to my container, add, uh, let's see here, I'm going to add a grid. All right, so this grid will have three columns and just one row, all right? And let's move this grid away from the buttons a bit. There we go. And in each grid, is we're going to put a div block. So Command or Control E, div, and there we go. So we have a div block, and we're going to call this, um, we're going to call this um, card, just a card, all right? And because I know I'm going to have elements that are going to move left and right, but I want to mask out anything that's outside of it, any of the overflow, I'm going to make sure that the overflow is set to hidden, just like that, okay? Right here, hidden. And now for the card, uh, what do I need to do? I need to, let's go ahead and set a height for the card, like 250 is good. All right, so we have a card with 250. And now let's fill this card with two more elements. Uh, we'll have two more divs. One's going to be color, and the other one's going to be just gray or something like that, okay? So let's go ahead and, wait, I'm thinking. Oh, okay, last thing, the card also needs to have position relative because one of the elements within it is going to be position absolute. So I need to make sure that it has the parent has a relative. All right, cool. We're done there. Now for the card, let's put on our first um, color card. So I'm going to put a div block inside of it. And this div block, we're going to call it inner card. And let's give it a height of 100%. So it's a, the same height as its parent, which is 250. So there we go. So this inner card, let's say this one has color. And let's go ahead and make it purple. Cool. So we have a purple one. And now let's copy and paste. So we have another card, but it's down here. And you can't see it because its parent card has overflow hidden. If I turn it back on, then we see it. Let's turn it off. All right. This inner card right here, let's remove color and we'll replace it with gray. All right, and this one, let's go ahead and make the background color gray, something like that. And obviously, again, we can't see it, but now let's set this one to position absolute and set it to full. Now it takes up the whole thing, and let's push this from the left. Let's push it 100% of its width to the right. So, you know, 100%, and there we go. So what we want to do is, with interactions, move this, this purple card, to the left. And at the same time, this gray card that's hidden, push that to the left so it'll slide over like this. Okay. So leave that back at 100. All right. We're good there. Now let's go ahead and make some copies of this command. Or Control-C, Command-C, or Command-V, Control-V or paste and there we go we have all of that and what we can do is button one let's call actually call this show colors and this one show gray awesome so we have our structure set up 
we need interactions. So show colors. Let's go ahead. Actually, let's start with the gray so we can move this all to the left. So we're going to click on show gray. Go here to the element trigger and uh, mouse click. Start animation. So on the first click, let's say show gray. We're going to name that our, our timeline. And now for each inner card, okay, so we're going to click on the inner card, press plus, set the move, and let's go down to class and make sure it just it's just inner card. Okay, it's not the color, it's not the gray, it's just the inner card, okay? So all the elements, which is all of these boxes right here, all the elements that have a class name of inner card, do something with them. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to move them negative 100%. All right, and there we go. So negative 100% of its origin. Just like that. And I'm wondering how come this one didn't didn't move. Let me double check the styles. Maybe this has to be maybe yeah, maybe the width has to be a hundred percent. Let me double check. Let's see. Let's press there we go. Yep, exactly. So it looks like it's being overlaid, but it's not. As you can see, they're being moved to the left. So that's what I missed. I did it really well. Or really fast. Um, I went to the gray inner card and I had to give it a width of 100%. That's what I was missing, right? So we have the first interaction done, which is when I click, move everything to the left. And now let's do the same thing, all right? And go to show colors, add an element trigger, mouse click, start animation, and let's just duplicate show gray so click on the kebab menu click duplicate and do show colors and this one right here instead of a hundred uh, negative hundred percent we're gonna go pause oh, we're gonna go back to zero cool and so there you go and that's it and just to show you that it's actually moving and not overlapping um, in the inner card, let me put like an, a placeholder image. All right, and I'm gonna make this 100%, oops, 100%, 100%, and there we go. Oops, 100%, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, great suggestion, Ash, and if you have a suggestion for a quick tutorial, let me know in the comments below. But thank you all so much for watching, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya!